Today we're going to talk about gears, how they work and why they're useful. And we're going to do a little bit of an experiment to show how they work. For this project, the materials you're going to need are a pair of scissors, some styrofoam cups, and some thumbtacks. Make sure you get the kind of thumbtack that sticks out like this and not the flat kind or else it won't work. This project is a little bit trickier than some of our other STEM projects, so get somebody to help you with it, especially since it uses sharp objects like thumbtacks and scissors, you don't want to hurt yourself. So to make a gear, you need two parts. You need a wheel and you need teeth. The wheel is the round part of a gear. In this project, we're going to use the styrofoam cup as the wheel. Then the teeth are these little parts that stick out from the wheel. The teeth can interlock with the teeth of another gear and make both gears turn together. So the first step is you're going to take your first styrofoam cup and cut off part of it around this line. So I'm just going to poke a hole with my scissors and then cut around so it's about two centimeters tall. And you want to make this line as straight as possible so that it will sit properly on the table. If it's not perfect, don't worry, you can always fix it after you've cut it out. So there we go, mine's a little bit uneven so I'm just going to clean up this side and that way it should sit flat on the table. There we go. Now you're also going to need a second styrofoam cup that you're going to leave whole and not cut. So now you have two, you've got a big one and a little one and this is going to make two gears. So once you have your two wheels ready, your big wheel and your little wheel, the next step is to stick thumbtacks in them to make the teeth. Thumbtacks are sharp, so make sure that you don't poke yourself and maybe get an adult to help you. On the little wheel, you're going to put thumbtacks all the way around here on the open side so that when it sits down on the table, they will stick out. So make sure that they're far enough away from the bottom that they won't hit the table. And then on the big cup, you're going to put them all along this part, again on the open side. And again, make sure that they're the same height as they are on this. So I've got mine here. I have my little wheel here and my big wheel here. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of thumbtacks and they're at the same height, like that. You wanna make sure that the thumbtacks are pretty close together and that they're the same distance apart on both cups. Otherwise, they won't work well as teeth. So that's how our gear experiment works. Play around with it and see if you can get one gear to move the other. Can you get the small gear to move the big gear? Can you get the big gear to move the small gear? You can even try putting a third gear and get the first gear to turn the next two. Looking at the video of the gears, you'll notice two things. First, if you turn one gear this way, the other gear will turn the opposite way. And if you were to put a third gear over here, this gear would also turn a different way than this one. So two gears that are next to each other will always turn opposite directions. You'll also notice that if you put the small gear against the big gear and turn the big gear, the small gear will take less time to go around one full circle than the big gear will. That means that if you turn the big gear one whole time, the small gear will turn twice, even though you've only actually turned the big gear once. This is why gears are useful, because you can use them in machines to change the direction that something is moving, or to move, make something move faster with less force. For example, in a car, you turn the steering wheel like this, and the wheels go like this when you turn the steering wheel. That's a different direction, and that works using gears. You can use a gear to turn this motion this direction. There's lots of other machines that use this too, because it's a really great way to use less energy to move something faster. For example, if this was in a machine and you wanted to turn this four times, it's easier to turn the big gear twice. For example, if you had a pedal or a crank attached to this one, you would only have to move it twice to get the little one to move four times. That's why it's used in machines, because it's a really great way of using force in a more efficient way and to change its direction. I hope you learned a little bit about how gears work and why they're useful in machines. And I hope that you try this craft and have fun with it. Remember, be safe and ask someone to help you with the thumbtacks.
Bye.